Abdi Kaal. Uh, my topic is incremental social innovation, which according to Mumford is a type of leadership. I will be discussing it from historical standpoint and in Eastern pers uh, perspective, I will be uh, convening the mental models and implementation strategy strategies that such social innovation leaders usually adopt. My name is Dr. Nabila Mahmood and um, my study domains are leadership and management. Uh, I'm an assistant professor at Virtual University of Pakistan and uh, like to thank conference organizers for letting me participate in this international event. Uh, to begin with, uh, leader, let's define leadership and social innovation. Leadership is a varying level of attempt to induce inspiration, influence, and influence to achieve compliance, obedience, or commitment from the followers. Social innovations are innovative social restructurings that endeavor to fulfill the social needs of the public in an improved manner than the prevailing norms by introducing innovative improvements across government, business, and nonprofit domains with respect to education, health, working condition of employees, etc. Now, uh, this is Specs taxonomy, and it talks about four four levels of uh, changes brought about in society uh, uh, by social innovators, and they are represented by these four rows. I will only be discussing the first row. And my, my, my point of focus would be the first row only. And uh, uh, this is when uh, uh, the social innovator, when uh, the society is introduced, when the change is perceived as rearrangement of resources. And when this happens, when this occurs, both the elite and the challenger, they are in consensus among, uh, they have, uh, they are in consensus, consensus among one another. And uh, the social innovator, they usually adopt collaborative techniques to bring about change in the society. The phenomenon of social innovation usually occurs in response to some type of social stimulus that needs to be uh, result. For example, at the onset of uh, industrial revolution, uh, we see that industry needed to deal with shortage of labor force. So Frederick Taylor uh, responded to this problem by uh, using his time in motion studies and thereby enhancing the efficiency level of workers and thus expanding the productivity of, of, uh, that the industry demanded. Uh, what a literature review defines, according to Polman, uh, incremental social innovation is expected to deliver a gradual social, economic, or environmental improvement, allows the utilization of existing knowledge and competencies, is low risk, perpetuates existing social practices, and could potentially be implemented with little resistance. What are mental models? Well, they are deep-rooted assumptions, generalizations, pictures and images that influence our understandings and actions. Uh, they are cognitive models, schemas, and mental representations. And according to Mumford, leaders, they generally possess such things in order to identify, understand, and solve social problems. Well, uh, as per Marcy, uh, there are different characteristics that show social innovators, uh, incremental social innovators uh, exhibit, which are like they bring changes in technical, financial, psychological, physical domains of the society, and their uh, changes are incremental improvements and value additions to the society. The uh, ch childhood of incremental social innovator is usually protected and smooth, and they have got very simple mental models as uh, they are same mental models as the elites have. They are in consensus with elite status, values, and goals, and they directly deal with the elite of the society. And uh, what? how do they bring about these changes? They use uh, legitimate, coercive, and reward powers, and uh, collaboration is the technique that they usually employ in order to bring such kind of or orchestrate such kind of change. Now, what is a, a collaboration? Accord, as per Mumford, the major tactic of incremental social leaders is a collaboration with elites, since uh, incremental social leaders are enmeshed in their social surroundings and are generally in consensus with prevailing social values and goals. Now, uh, these are the research gaps and questions arguments that I have uh, framed out. And uh, they, uh, they focus on the childhood of social innovators, how mental models and more men generated, usually in consensus, implementation tactics, then the nature of those tactics, which we have already 
seen in literature review, they're, they're collaborative, and then we will discuss the results of such implementation tactics. The research methodology that I have employed as per Mumford and Marcy is case study research. I have uh, uh, discussed uh, my results in 11 cases, and uh, the first case is, is starts with the childhood. Uh, and uh, for this matter, I have selected second Rashidun Caleb Omar as incremental social innovator. So his uh, childhood and youth, uh, it has, it is, it was, uh, he was raised in a very secure and protected environment, and he received formal education among, and he was considered among the literate minorities of the pagan society. And um, uh, with respect to the running of government, it is his own words that no government can be established without consultation. And uh, there was another occasion that he said, had there been no Ali, Umar would have been ruined. So uh, as far as judiciary was concerned, he separated judiciary from the executive. And in order to award of bribery from perpetuating in judicial system, he um, nominated a standard uh, norm for uh, salary for uh, the judges and it was 500 dirhams. He made proper governmental uh, departments with all hierarchical structures uh, for every uh, department. And uh, with respect to the collection of taxes, it was his paradigm that neither the taxes should be imposed unnecessarily, nor uh, they should be wasted. So he divided the country into eight provinces in west and three in the east. He also brought about military reforms. He uh, established military containment areas for armed forces, and he established open door policy for the recruitment of military personnel. Now, uh, as far as land reforms were concerned, he systemized the process for measurement and demarcation of lands, identifying them with their owners, especially lands belonging to the minorities. He also took the lands from the elite landlords of Egypt and Syria and redistributed them among the native laborers and cultivators of the land. As for uh, educational reforms, he, uh, there were many, and one of them was that he imposed fines on parents who would not send their children to school. Then he built about many highways, infrastructural constructions, uh, bridges, uh, he uh, uh, built uh, canals and posts and inns, public baths along major highways of the country. He also established the Department of Police and Prisons to correct the deviant behavior of the society. And uh, he established the Department of Irrigation, made many canals, dams, extracted tributaries from the main canals to distribute water properly. He expanded uh, the state treasury for public national welfare. Um, uh, in, in my case 12, I have discussed the effects of these implementation tactics. To sum up, Umar brought 43 social welfare reforms. And uh, since people were recruited based on pure merit, the running of the departments and institutions was made very transparent. Revenues of Iraq at that time rose from 8 crores to 20 crores. Uh, trade got a lot of impetus when on his orders, 99 uh, miles long canal was dug to link Nile to the Red Sea. Many of the until lands were cultivated and this gave a lot of impetus to the agricultural produce as well. Well, this study, has tried to draw uh, has tried to draw out different aspects of incremental social innovators with regards to their mental models, implementation techniques, and the toils of such tactics. Uh, the results of the study are quite similar in content and meaning to the studies conducted in the Western scenario on Benjamin Franklin. Uh, and the has uh, in that in this study, Mumford has categorized Benjamin Franklin as an incremental social innovator, for he introduced and institutionalized practically the ideas of police force, gentleman club, and street lighting. So uh, all these uh, 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 the changes that we have just discussed uh, in uh, 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 with respect to Umar. It, they have been incremental value additions with respect to technical, financial, and physical domains, and they have been introduced by Umar that, and they had not been there before in the society. With respect to the limitations and future uh, research, I propose that this study explores the various facets of incremental social innovative leaders from a very uh, from a slice of self history which is extremely limited in its scope regarding the personality endeavors, which can be viewed from many other angles and perspectives. 
This paper is limited in the scope as many other critical incidents or criticisms do not get discussed in this research paper. Likewise, the study is also limited in its scope that it has not considered the Western perspective on the incremental social reforms and discusses only a case of incremental social innovation brought about in the society by the second caliph. My commendations to the organizers and audience of the conference. And with this, I uh, conclude my recorded uh, presentation and would like to thank conference organizers and listeners for letting me present my topic on behalf of Virtual University of Pakistan.